Well, I think the number one problem is that we're exceeding water's limits in so many places. Um, you know, we, we've, we've had this, this um, approach of every time we need more water, going out and looking for more uh, from a distant river or drilling more groundwater wells and building more dams. And so that's created a situation where we've just been overtapping rivers and overtapping groundwater. And so there's all kinds of signs that we're not living in a sustainable way with regard to fresh water. Uh, more and more places have water tables falling you know, beneath the, the land. Uh, more and more rivers are, are getting overtapped. And anytime we then, we then have a drought, it gets ex exacerbated. So rivers get even drier and we, and we find ourselves again thinking we're running out of water. Um, and so I think it's that uh, you know, the basic issue is that we, we haven't figured out the importance of living harmoniously with the other creatures in, in this country that need water too. And so we, in this country, have a tremendous uh, biodiversity uh, extinction going on, a species extinction in fresh water as a consequence of how we've managed water. Um, you know, we have uh, the number one country in the world, we are the number one country in the world in terms of known species of, for example, freshwater mussels. Well, two-thirds of them are at risk of extinction, again, because of how we've managed rivers. And, and same thing with fish. We have uh, uh, probably at this point close to 40% of our freshwater fish species on, at, to some degree at risk of extinction. So that importance of, of living um, in ways that are harmonious with the natural world, because we depend on them. And so I think this, this, this issue is really one of the importance of changing our mindset with regard to water, that we need to share it not only with each other, but also with the natural world. And that shift really is about uh, managing our demand rather than increasing supply and realizing there's so much we can do uh, living in, in, in order to live better with less water. Uh, so much we can do to conserve it, to use it more efficiently, to use it more wisely so that we don't have to have this, these damaging effects on the environment and we can still live well too. So it's that mindset shift, realizing water's finite, it's the basis of life, we need to share it with each other and with nature, and we have the mechanisms to do that. We have the tools, the technologies to do that um, if we choose to.